Hello, everyone. We're back in a store. I got some great bargains for you today. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to buy anything from the store just yet, because... Well, we're poor. poor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay, bottom class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay, sun transitions. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Obama hasn't quite got going on in the Ratchet and Clank world yet, so... <laughs> Curse that Obama. Ron Paul is our human. Oh, God. <laughs> Ron Paul will save the world by giving you lots of bolts so you can buy lots of weapons. Yeah! And now we're gonna do some screwing. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll do some screwing. If, if, you'll, if, you'll, if you ever see screwing in a Crystal Star Studio video, let's make it this video. <laughs> yeah, let's make it this one. And of course, PK's here when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, it's got to in the LPs that I know. Yeah, really. <laughs> anyway, in case you didn't know, we're on the planet Novalis, and we're blowing stuff up. That's the way you do it on Novalis. <laughs> this is how you do it. Oh god. <laughs> uh, this, this is what happens when you have PK on a project. <laughs> so, in case anyone was wondering, how the levels are going to be split up in this game, or it's basically you just go around visiting a, a bunch of different planets. And, um, yeah. <laughs> There's not much to say. Yeah, and, uh... Screw you. <laughs> sometimes you will have to do some slight backtracking to other planets, but for the most part, though, it's usually just for the extra collectibles you can get, which we'll be talking about in just a minute, because I think we have our first one coming up soon. That's why I came to this cave in the first place, because there's nothing else but collectibles. Mm -hmm. And apparently lots of drowning, too. Oh, no! <laughs> you see? <laughs> If the Sonic theme for Drowning was playing, <laughs> it would have gone out sooner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. N nothing says, get the hell out of that water, like the Sonic uh, Drowning theme. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost scary in a way. Yeah, but... it is. Like, yeah. I, I, I was terrified by that when I was younger. Like, seriously. Especially <laughs> especially in the, like, uh, the Hydrocity or Hydrop, whatever the... Second World was in Sonic huh. 3. Hydro City Zone or yeah, something? Yeah, Hydro City, yeah. Which I think that's right. Especially that one, because that one here, like, in water the entire time. <laughs> You're talking about the one in Sonic 3, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that one. There is also the Labyrinth Zone in Sonic 1, but that's like... <laughs> that's like a Kaizo level, so I'm not counting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the level that started it all. Yeah. It started the drowning fear. Yeah, that and I never grew up with the Sonic one either. But anyway, we have our first extra collectible in the game, the gold bolt. Gee, how could you tell? <laughs> the fact of the silver, okay. Uh, <laughs> so there are 40 gold bolts in the game, and in each world there's a certain amount. Sometimes you'll find... There's at least one in every world. Yeah, I, I think... I, I want to say there's one world where there isn't one, but I'm probably wrong. Well, you might be right, who knows, but there are some worlds that have, like, three and some that have four, so... Yeah, depends. More screwing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're, like... I, I honestly found that, that they were actually pretty hard to find, like, in my first go-around. Like, there was only, like a few of them that I actually knew where the locations were. Yeah, you, yeah, if you're going through this completely blind, you're probably going to miss a lot of them on your first run through. And in fact, the first time you go to a planet, most of the time, you can't even get all the gold bolts. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, I, they're, they're honest. I think there's only like one or two planets where you can actually get them all. Right, yeah. and this isn't one of them. Yeah, yeah. there is one more we have to wait to get. Ooh! I got some great bargains for you today. It's time. Yeah, we get a buy. Yeah, the welfare, welfare checks came in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Ron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the py the pyro cider, which is basically a giant flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, the first few weapons, uh, special weapons that you buy from the shop, are pretty simple in function. Mm -hmm. And and I should note that you always start up with half 
a half full of ammo, which we've already gone below, thanks to PK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to do a live demonstration. <laughs> it's a flamethrower. I think we understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I want to show you how much flame it throws! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting because you won't actually see it right now, but a lot of the enemies in the game actually carry, like, like similar weapons to what you can actually buy. <laughs> I'm not surprised because in the game's universe, there all the weapons are manufactured by one company, pretty much. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna get them at Kmart or anything. <laughs> Kmart. K-Man Mart, no. Okay. So. Got 50% off sale on bomb glove ammo. <laughs> so my golden uh, bolt senses are tingling right now, so. Yes! There's the second one we can get. And that's all for the gold bolts on this planet for now. To get the third one, we're gonna need something special. Yeah, that's... that's to be honest, we need actually, like, two things special, and those we don't get until pretty late in the game, actually. Or late enough. Yeah. Alright. So now I can focus on winning the planet. <laughs> yes, you're gonna, you're gonna win the planet. It's gonna be yours. But... <laughs> you're gonna have a big trophy with a golden plant on it. <laughs> You'll build PK Land as an amusement park on top of the... <laughs> E.K. Land, located on Pasta Planet. I like that. <laughs> hey, I like that. You're hired. <laughs> now look at you going backwards. Wrong way. <laughs> no, 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 wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you needed that DK, the D Kong Racing announcer. It's not a first for any of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, but this level... This level was kind of a first for me, too, because I'm confused by the platforms! <laughs> the PK, yeah, uh, platforms are nowhere! All they do is rise and fall, what's so confusing about them? <laughs> <laughs> the mind games! Yeah, like, oh, we're only gonna increase, like, a little bit. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> In all seriousness, the solution is easy as pie. Yeah, now I have a little small walkway. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah, yeah, I almost fell off. <laughs> Will I do it again? Oh, you, <laughs> fell, you fell off and fell off again. <laughs> Thank goodness for ledge grinding. I, I think Ratchet is pigeon toed or something. Blast <laughs> it! Oh my god, what am I seeing? What did you just say? I said, look, a lovely the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait Beep for Captain Quark to save us. <laughs> well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? Another reason like, why we need Ron Joe's Paul. Two weirdos <laughs> ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An info bot. Ratchet, we could use that. Yeah, let's go buy a second telly. <laughs> <laughs> For 500 bolts. And Team Rocket's blasting off again! <laughs> Slide down a sewer Slide! <laughs> I love the humor of this game. I know, maybe, man. maybe. This is the solution. Oh boy, home movies. We seem to be under attack <laughs> from the planet's surface. Relax, relax kid. Though. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your own. Yay, room. fireworks! That was close! Ah! Oh no! I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Detour. When we land, I'll see if I can Will they survive? I'm not gonna live that long. Kid, let's am screen. Wow, these 3D yeah. effects are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that guy on the left? That was Skid yo, McMarks. I gotta see this movie no at an IMAX like theater. It. Totally. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always <laughs> going off about how cool 3D goggles, too. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen I'm willing to pay so the extra guy. money for a movie that good. Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates. So anyways, if you can already like the lady selling us now, the only reason you need infobots is that basically in order to get to other worlds, so Bruh. yeah. It's pretty simple to explain at this point. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
you know, kind of like having a certain amount of power stars to get into a level like Mario 64, except just like one <laughs> item instead. And cool cutscenes. <laughs> oh yeah, and get a cool cutscene too. Sometimes they come in the form of cheesy commercials. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll definitely see that in a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. There's one coming soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at us! We're sliding! <laughs> oh, so, that, so that's what goes on during the pipe segments in Su Super Mario. Like, you don't see. That's what you don't see. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Inside the pipe. Great bargains for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, looking at I ammo. Think that... <laughs> I think that really would like make the Mario games more enjoyable. If, like they they increase like the pipe segments, and like you actually had like a little sliding portion where you could get like coins and everything. <laughs> hey. I, I, I would like that. I think that'd be cool. I don't think they've really ever done that since Super Mario RPG, and even then, it was only like once or twice. Yeah. It would kind of be like the princess's secret slide, except with water. Yeah. Like, no way to actually fall off. Well, I guess there could be some sections where, like, yeah. part of the pipe are missing. Like the pipe. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Nintendo, get on that. <laughs> get on that. Super Mario Galaxy 3. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I would I'd actually see another console game besides the Galaxy. Maybe Galaxy 3. Maybe Galaxy 3. I, I hope there isn't a Galaxy 3. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I honestly wouldn't mind if there is. I just think it should be something different. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Oh, why don't, like... They really don't exploit uh, Mario's given profession. I mean... <laughs> yeah. The only time I could really ever think of was in uh, Superstar Saga, honestly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, they should just, like... Have the entire game where he's just slinging his sewer and has to go into like different sections of the sewer. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see like I can see like a plumber company. They have that like game in like the waiting room or like just in the back, and they're like, <laughs> like yeah, this is our job. <laughs> well, you know, supposedly in the original Mario Bros, the storyline was Mario and Luigi go into the sewers of New York City. Yeah. And Infested by turtles and stuff. That is true. Man, why don't New Yorkers eating things? <laughs> <laughs> they just eat giant turtles and crabs and well, fireballs. Yeah, fireballs. Almost got tree. <laughs> well, the, they put I, some weird stuff in that water. The free, the freezy could, the freezy could be like ice cubes or something. So I don't know. They're good. Oh no! Oh no! The bridge of Elden has been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at us talking about Nintendo games and uh, Sony Let's Play. <laughs> that's our. Yeah, that's, that's part of being part of Christian Bros. Oh, hey, wow. Ratchet. Ratchet's basically like Mario. He can do a wall jump, he can somersault. Yeah. He, he's, he's Mario's ancestor. Mm -hmm. And Where's like in Galaxy, he has pretty much low health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the Daredevil run, Daredevil run right now, it should be good. Oh yeah, totally. Novalis Daredevil Run, or whatever, whatever this mission would be called. That that would actually be like really, really, really hard in some of oh, these later yeah. levels. Yeah, especially in the later levels. Yeah. Uh, I don't even want to think about that. You do eventually get health upgrades later in the game, but it does take a while, and you do need a lot of bolts. <laughs> oh god. You need a lot of bolts for everything in this damn game. Yeah. Like, the, the last level I played, which I don't really need to point out, we'll see it eventually, but, um... Yeah, it's a, still a fairly early level, and I died several times just in this one level. Yeah. And, like, I'm not even in, like, one-third through the game yet, so it's like, uh... <laughs> how much harder can it get? <laughs> <laughs> don't, yeah. don't answer that, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Please don't, no, please don't. Through. Yeah, I don't want to know the truth. It's still kind of humorous though, because like I started the game a lot later than uh, Slim did, and like I like literally like lately when I get into a game, I seriously have gotten into a game, and like I asked, oh, I talked to Slim like a few weeks later, and he goes like, "Hey Slim, how far are you?" Yeah, I'm on the third planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm two thirds of the way through the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm not very good at playing through games once I get them. It takes me a long time to actually get going on the game. 
Just like that, we free the guy. They didn't leave much to guard him. What are you? Mercenaries? He's got another Torturers? Telly with them, though. Assassins? <laughs> I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. So, Come on, go on. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Wait, I like the title of Assassin. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. Has this ever happened to you? I hope not. <laughs> Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's uh, nothing awesome. worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. <laughs> That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> You said it, pal. I love that part. So if you're fighting crime or just Best fighting line crime, ever. <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. <laughs> Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. I'm going there right now. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah, that seems like means. more yeah, important. Captain Quark is really sold out. The <laughs> slave of the consumer <laughs> capitalistic <laughs> imperial. If we had a ship. Liberal. <laughs> <laughs> You're Pretty not going much. to torture me. I can't do a little well, more. <laughs> Don't be a cat ship. ship. Yay, we actually oh, get a new ship because we uh, destroyed our other one. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. We destroyed it so bad there wasn't even any remains. <laughs> oh, yeah. But hey, we're, we're apparently VIP, so we get our own cruiser. Yeah. Oh, assassins, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are. We are assassins for the government. <laughs> Ron Paul assassin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly how Ron Paul is gonna handle all wars from now on. We're gonna keep most of the troops out of it and just fight the war in secret with assassins. <laughs> Assass assassins with Kelly robots. <laughs> <laughs> Assassinate the heads of state? We won't have any wars! World peace! World peace! <laughs> world pieces! <laughs> <laughs> world peace or world pieces? Ah ha ha ha! Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this video will be over soon. Because we're about to leave this planet. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to go to Big Al's Robo Shack. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Stop of the game. Stop of the universe. Yeah. So I guess that's going to be the end of this video. So we'll talk to you guys next time when we go to whatever planet we decide to go to.